Race Control is an app that I have developed or I'm developing to try and help anybody who hosts their own races if they want to hand out, hand out penalties either in the race or when the race is finished. To show what this application can do, I let I created an AI race and I let it run with my app open and it's logged all the incidents. And here in the replay, we're now going to look at the incident. So whatever you see in this little video can be done either in the replay or while the event is going. So as you can see, I can see a list of all drivers that are in the race. I can select any driver and it will take me to that driver on track. Now, if this is a live event, when you click on a driver that's not highlighted in red, it will take you to their current live location on track. Now, anybody who's highlighted red has had an incident this race. Incidents is the number of X's. So this is 12 because he got 12 X's. And then it separates the incidents into off track, loss of control and contact. In fact, under options, I can select which incidents I would like to highlight. So, for example, I can just say highlight a loss of control. And here we can see that this person had a loss of control. I can click on the incident to be immediately taken to where the incident happened on track. So let's have a look. Here is this guy. It comes across and we can clearly see that he makes a mistake. He locks up. He goes straight on and he has an incident. So I can now mark this incident as no further action. It was just a genuine mistake. Now you'll notice that here in the iRacing chat, it's gone all. So it's basically an admin command. Because I'm in a replay, it's not highlighting it purple or anything. And it says car number 30, the name, no further action required. And there you go. So let's now go to turning on some highlight contact incidents. Now, here's where I deliberately created some incidents. So we can see, and I stop in an awkward place and I cause an incident. So here, I am at fault. So I can right click, I can click on a penalty, and I can say deliberate wrecking in this instance. And now I have the options to set what penalty I want. Now, these penalties aren't supported in iRacing. These are just stuff that if you've got a tournament or a league that you can apply after the race to alter the results. So let's say that deliberate wrecking, we're going to have a five place grid drop and a 20 second penalty. I click apply and it notifies everybody of the outcome of that. Now, that outcome is also logged within the application. So we can see that deliberate wrecking time 20 seconds drop of five. And then I can review the next incident and so on. So let's look at somebody else. Here we have two instances of contact. This one is definitely caused by me again. This one, not so much. But again, he's not at fault in necessarily in either one of those. He's got caught up. So no, no other further action, not at fault. No further action, not at fault. And this is a Tanner, of course. Now you'll notice that his name is no longer in red because the incidents have been reviewed. Now this all happens in real time when a session is running. It allows somebody who's uh, watching the event to hand out penalties in real time. You see, other options are if it's a really bad event, they can be disqualified. You can give a black flag or you can clear flags. You can even, if it's a player, kick them from the server, which because this is an AI uh, driver, we can't kick. We can also make a player admin. Now, in order for this app to work, you need to either be doing an AI race like I am or you need to be the admin of a hosted session. And really, so far, this is what the app does. It just allows you to very quickly jump to and view incidents, assess blame and hand out penalties.